Hello friends, welcome to lecture series of turbo machines. This is the first lecture based on the meaning of turbo machines, classification of turbo machines. First of all, understand what is turbo machines. Turbo machine is defined as a device that extracts energy from a continuously flowing fluid by the dynamic action of one or more rotating elements. The machines which convert hydraulic energy into mechanical energy is called as the turbines. The example of the turbines are steam turbine, gas turbine and water turbine. Now the machines which converts mechanical energy into hydraulic energy is called as the pumps. The example for the pumps are centrifugal pump, reciprocating pump. Now based on the how the turbo machines behaves. Is it producing power or it is absorbing the power? Based on that, the turbine, turbo machines are classified. If you look at here, the turbo machines which are producing power, in that case we are having fluid at a high energy which is transferred to the rotor and we get some work output. And the fluid which is coming out of the ro rotor which consists of the low energy. And instead of power absorbing machine, we are having fluid with low energy and we are having impeller to which work input is given and the fluid which is coming out of the impeller which consists of the high energy these are the basic classification of turbo machines see the classification of power absorbing turbo machines first type is a fan in which air is a working medium again it is classified into two types axial flow and radial flow Another type is the blowers, again in that case air is a working medium, again it is classified into two types, axial flow and radial flow. Another type is the compressors, in that case air is a working medium, there are two types of compressors, reciprocating and rotary. Again rotary is classified into axial flow, radial flow, mixed flow. Next type of the power absorbing turbo machine is the pump, in that case water is the working medium again pump is classified into reciprocating and rotary type rotary type is again classified into axial flow radial flow and mixed flow based on the direction of the fluid now see uh, next classification of turbo machine is based on the power producing now see the classification of power producing turbo machines first type is the gas turbine in that case Air and combustion gas is the working medium. It is again classified into axial flow and radial flow. Another type is the steam turbine. In that case, steam is the working medium. Here, basic diagram for the steam turbine and gas turbine is the wind turbine. In that case, air or a wind is the working medium. It is classified into two types, vertical axis and horizontal axis. The type is the hydraulic turbine. In that case, water is the working medium. It is classified into two types, mainly impulse turbine and reaction turbine. In this video, I am mainly focusing on the classification of hydraulic turbines and its working. If you look at here, basic working principle of hydraulic turbines, it converts the hydraulic energy, that is uh, potential energy plus kinetic energy into the mechanical energy. Now first of all see what is the meaning of head. Head is the elevation difference of reservoir water level and downstream water level. Now based on the type of head available, the hydraulic turbines are classified into three types. High head turbine, medium head turbine and low head turbine. For the high head range is above the 250 meters. The example for that is Pelton turbine. For the medium head turbine, the range of the head is 60 to 250 meter. Example is Francis turbine. And for the low head turbine, the range for the head is below 60 meter. For that example is the Kaplan turbine. Now the classification on the basis of specific speed. First see the what is the meaning of specific speed. It is a speed of geometrical similar turbine which would produce unit power under a unit head. The formula for specific speed is given here. Based on that, it is classified into slow speed, medium speed, 
and high speed range is also given here for the specific speed next classification is based on the position of turbine main shaft horizontal shaft and vertical shaft next classification is based on the flow through the runner first type is the radial flow radial flow is classified into the inward flow you can see here figure for the inward flow reaction turbine in this case the water from the casing enters the stationary guiding wheel the guiding wheel consists of guide vanes which directs the water to enter the runner which consists of moving vanes the water flows over the moving vanes in the inward radial direction and is discharged at the inner diameter of the runner the outer diameter of the runner is the inlet and the inner diameter is the outlet let us see next classification outward radial flow reaction turbine again you can see the figure for the outward flow reaction turbine in this the water from the casing enters the stationary guide wheel the guide wheel consists of guide vanes which directs the water to enter the runner which is around the stationary guide wheels the water flows through the vanes of the runner in the outward radial direction and is discharged at the outer diameter of runner the inner diameter of the runner is the inlet and the outer diameter is the outlet it is the axial flow the example is the kaplan turbine kaplan turbine is a low head reaction turbine in which water flows axially the working principle for kaplan turbine is water at a high pressure enters the spiral casing through the inlet and flows over the guide blades the water from the guide blades strokes the runner blades axially thus the kinetic energy is imparted by water to the runner blades causing the rotation of the runner the runner has only 4 to 6 blades the water discharges at the center of the runner in the axial direction into the draft tube the draft tube is of l shape which its discharging end immerse into the tail race next type is the pelton wheel or also called as the impulse turbine the pelton wheel or pelton turbine is a tangential flow impulse turbine the water strikes the buckets along the tangent of the runner the energy available at the inlet of the turbine is only kinetic energy the pressure at the inlet and outlet of the turbine is atmosphere this turbine is used for high heads let us see working for the pelton wheels the jet of water at a high velocity from the nozzle strikes the bucket at the center of the cup the impulsive force of the jet striking on the buckets causes the rotation of the wheel in the direction of the striking jet thus pressure energy of the water is converted into the mechanical energy this pressure inside is the casing is atmosphere the pelton wheel operates under a high head of water therefore it is require less quantity of water draft tubes are not usually used with this type of turbine next type of turbine is the mixed flow turbine the example is the francis turbine it is an inward flow radial type reaction turbine it operates under a medium head the working principle for this turbine is francis turbine consists of spiral casing fish guide blades runner moving blades and draft tube the spiral casing enclose a number of stationary guide blades the guide blades are fixed around the circumference of an inner ring of moving blades moving blades are fixed to the runner water at a high pressure from the penstock pipe enters the inlet in a spiral casing it flows radially inward to the outward periphery of the runner through the guide blades from the outer periphery of the runner water flows inwards through the moving blades and discharges at the center of the runner at a low pressure during its flow over the moving blades water imparts kinetic energy to the runner causing the rotation of the runner draft tube is diverging conical tube fitted at the center of the runner it enables the discharge of water at a low pressure 
the other end of the draft tube is immersed in a discharge side of the water called tail race this is the basic classification of water turbines in next lecture we are going to discuss about the basic working principle for the turbines in detail thanks for watching this video